This is a 9000 C F fully digital. It's got the digital foot pressure um, and digital tension and the full touchscreen. It's the home position. There you go. Finds the home position, comes on a screen like this. This is the main operator screen. Um, you have two main operator screens. You have this one, which is the basic level. And then if you press here and here at the same time, you have the advanced level. It gives you an extra bit of options down here. Also, it gives you the ability to create new cycles, new programs, copy and delete old programs. These are all your programs here. If you go back to the basic one, you'll see if you go there again that they're missing. You can't make new programs. All you can do is select the, the existing ones. So you have a free so. This is program number one. Uh, it's a free so. Here and here is your back tacks on and off. You just click them. If you want to change your back tack, you hold it. You can change the amount of stitches. And there you go. You can see two and two instead of four and four. This is your counter. Right now, the one, two, three symbol is cuts. Um, the This little symbol is the uh, bob and winder counter. So cuts and bob and wind. Okay, uh, here you have the speed, which you can change. Now it's 2600. This is the thread presser on and off. Thread presser is this guy. Uh, digital tension here, up and down. So that's this guy here. So instead of being manual, it's digital, and you just change it here. This is your stitch pitch right here. Right now it's at 2.25. You can raise that up. Press enter. If you hit R, it'll go to it'll return to what your last one was. There you go. Or if you haven't selected, so say I I'm in the middle and I, I want to go back to just whatever I had it set to before, I can press R, it'll go to return. That goes for all the different settings. That's what the R is. Foot pressure, same kind, of, same kind of concept as the tension. It's here. It's all digital, no manual. Um, so you just have to go up and down however you see fit. Um, and then thread trimming, on and off. Okay. If we go into the advanced one, you get this extra line. The extra line has feed dog height. Okay, it's a, it's a number between negative four and eight. If you go in the manual somewhere, in the manual it'll tell you exactly what those numbers mean. How many millimeters above the plate, the throat plate that is. Needle position up and down, where the needle stops when you trim, after you trim. The feed locusts, the style at which they can be perfectly circular. They can go straight up in the back and fall forward uh, they can do the opposite and then they can kind of do a, a box style. And then this one has got a ton of options. A lot of it is the same from the, the previous screen, like needle position you can see there, uh, foot pressure, tension, stitch pitch, thread presser, all, a lot of them are, are the same. But uh, you'll see a couple new ones. First of all you'll see these. All these ones down here, they're kind of separated. And if you notice they have this little hand symbol, like a, a, a finger pointing straight up and two arrows going side to side. That's the symbol for the one touch changeover. So all of these settings are for the one touch changeover. The one touch changeover is this button here. So as you're sewing, if we go back here, I might be able to see it. No, I haven't said anything different. 
Okay, so you, you can hear that noise. Ah, I got the wrong one. That's the reverse button. This is the one touch changeover. So you can notice the one touch changeover is a quick change settings. So you'll notice the speed there went from, it goes from 1500 to 2600. 2600 is the standard. When I hit the, the one touch changeover, it goes to 1500. So it slows down considerably. Um, the stitch pitch is 2.5 here normally, and then it goes to a big stitch pitch here, which is 3.5. Those are really the only two, uh, two things that are different. Um, but that means if you're sewing, and then I change it, it, fl it's, it switches. So uh, you can see, actually maybe I'll do it here. Didn't work. You'll notice that my stitch pitch was 2.5 here, and then suddenly it's much bigger here. That's because I hit the one touch and it went from 2.5 to 3.5. It also slowed down too. So it was 2.5 to here, and then I pressed the button, it went to the bigger stitch with the slower speed, and I used that for the rest of the way. So that's what that is. So that's all of these. The only other thing is this guy here. So this is the multi-layer sensor. Because it's got digital tension, it knows how high the, the, the height of the foot is. And that means if you were to... Um, multi-layer detect sensor so uh, I have it on I want to teach it you can enter the values manually but you'll never be able to do that you'll never know what the thickness is in millimeters is here so what you have to do is you have to teach it uh, and then you can see here uh, so right now it's on one layer okay so I'm gonna press the one layer button I'm gonna press this little dot and it's detected that it's 1162 and then if I fold it, see, if I fold it like this, I left the foot and I put it under here, and I press here, it's more, it's almost 200 more, right? I press enter, and now it knows that if I'm sewing here, it's going to change. It's going to change to whatever the one touch changeover is. So it automatically detects the, the height difference between here and here and applies the one touch changeover settings. So in this case, again, going from 2.50 to 3.50 and slowing down. So let me see if I can do that one handed. So I didn't touch this button this time, but you can see again the difference here between the small stitch and then as soon as it registered that I was on the, on the thicker part here, there's a little bit of, uh, the edge is not completely firm, so it didn't register it until about here, but you can see the difference between these stitches here and the thickness of these stitches. So it automatically slowed down the machine and created a bigger stitch once I went to the thicker level okay and that's the basics of running this machine um, you have in here you have um, all your settings uh, under the M button you have your memory switches memory switches is like um, your parameters of the machine the settings of the machine so you have soft start function material end sensor you can go through all of these and, and, and see what you want to use. Um, bobbing winding mode, that's, that's key. That now makes this work because it won't work normally. So you take out your bobbin, put it in up here, and wind it. Just press the X to get out. Counter settings, if you want to adjust your counter, 
what your counter is. So I have the bobbing counter at 50. That's unreasonably low. So I'll put it up to like say 250. And now you'll see here it's 250. Originally it was 50. So 50 was no good. It was much too low. So um, clock settings version will give you what version of the panel you have, like of the electronics. Um, custom pitch settings, that's something pretty, it's in the manual, it's pretty advanced. Uh, normally you won't use that type of thing, um, but it's if you want to do a custom uh, condensed stitch before the back tack, you do like say three tiny stitches, then you do the back, st back stitch, and then you start sewing. So that little tiny, those three tiny stitches before even the back tack, that's the condensation custom sewing settings. So that's a bit of a that's a bit of an advanced thing. You'll have to read the manual for that. Uh, then we have this screen. So from here, um, I'm going to press the one logo, and I can change my my program. So now I'm on uh, program number 14. If I press enter here. It's just a bar tack, or a, just a tack back and forth. So if I put it under here, press the pedal go, it just goes back and forth and creates that little tack right there. Okay? And then I have all my same settings, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can change it all here if you click on it. Okay? Um, and then you go, you go here. To change it again, um, there's a here uh, is a this is different from the free sew. So because it's a solid thick line, um, because it's a solid thick line, it is a it's 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 counting the number of stitches. So here you've got 20 stitches. So it's going to count 20 stitches and automatically stop. Let's see here. So I haven't let go of the pedal. I'm still pressing down, but it's automatically stopped. My only option is to back heel and cut. And so it's only stitched 20 stitches. Okay. Um, you can change that here. You can make it, uh, you know, say 30 stitches. And it'll go even further. So yeah, you can change that there. Now, if you don't know how many stitches you actually need to go, you click here, you click this T. T is for teach. Okay, and then it's so it's selected there. It doesn't change the screen or anything, but it's selected. And now I can go from the top of my piece all the way to the bottom. I'm gonna back heel, and it's remembered. 70 stitches, it says. So now if I place this at the top here and start sewing, I'll never go off the piece. It's always going to stop before the end. Okay. So from there all the way to there. So 70 stitches. That's how I taught it. Other than that, everything is everything else is the same. But that's what that function is. So you have free sew, which is just sewing as much as you want forever. You have the predetermined amount of sewing, which is what I just showed you. It counts the number of stitches. You have the tacking, which is back and forth, back and forth. Then you have this. This is like polymetric sewing. And I think I have one of those already made. No, this is a cycle. So I don't have the polymetric already made, but I'll go back to here and I'll show you. So what this does is it's pretty much the same thing as this. This counts just one way. This counts as many sides as you want. You could have like 15 sides and it'll count. You know, 15 stitches this way, then 10 stitches this way, then five stitches that way, then 50 stitches this way, then three stitches that way, and then cut. And it'll remember all those stitches and remember the whole cycle, okay? So it's very similar to this one, just multiple times over. Uh, then the next thing would be the only last thing would be this. This is cycle. 
So in cycle mode, what it's going to do, uh, I'm not sure how this, okay, so this one's set up that it has attack. So it's, what it does, anyways, I'll explain what it does. I'm on step one of two. There's only two steps in, the, in my cycle. So it's got attack and then sew. And then once I finish sewing, it's gonna go back to tack and then it's gonna sew. So if I press go, it tacks, then it switches to the the uh, program that I made, uh, the predetermined amount of stitching for 70 stitches. It'll do that. And then it automatically goes back to the tack. So it keeps switching back and forth. It cycles exactly like it, what it's called. Okay? So that's pretty much the like everything you need to know. Um, you have a few more options in here, um, but it's really, it's just information on communication, production control. It's not something you, this is generally f used in factories to, to, um, to compare statistics, let's say, versus this one is actually changes the way the machine works. This is just information exactly what it says here information list it's just information on how many things you've you know made today stuff like that it's like like i say for factories you have um usb here that you can add sewing programs so if i want to take this cycle i can take it via usb and put it on another 9000 c i can also do it via nfc which i have a different video for okay that's everything you need to know about the 9000CF.